Hey drummers, how's it going? It's Alex once again, bringing some more fun free drumming ideas. I thought I'd just do the intro from behind the kit today, mainly because it's less faff. Also because my phone ran out of battery, so it just wasn't going to happen anyway. Uh, but what I thought we'd do, for this lesson we're going to take a look at this fill. <laughs> Alright, and the reason I thought we'd do it is because I've had a few people sort of inquire and ask about what this is. Because quite often in some of my videos I'll do a little fill. And then finish off with a just to sort of round it off like a nice little full stuff at the end of a sentence. So that little idea there, and we're going to use that quite a bit, goes right, left, right, kick. Yeah, The first three notes, they're 16th note triplets, so they're quite quick. And you're coming in with the bass drum almost immediately afterwards. And that bass drum is going to last an entire eighth note. It's not a huge amount of time, but you can definitely hear the gaps when you're playing the actual fill. So we can break this fill down into two halves. So the first half we're going to look at is this. No, nope, that's the second half. The first half we're going to look at is this. It's probably easier if we just look at the sticking rather than trying to count it, because it's really hard to count and play at the same time. But the pattern we're after is this. Me going left, right, left, right, kick, left, right, left, right, kick, left. A bit faster. Left, right, left, right, kick, left, right, left, right, kick, left. And if we're playing like a sort of standard, you know, eight notes on the hi-hat, eight notes on the hi-hat, we've got one and two and three and four and up. And then we can pop back in. That snare jump at the end is going to land on beat four, so it gives us like a whole quarter note or crotch it before we have to whack our crash again. So let's try that again. And again. Okay, so that's left, right, left, right, kick, left, right, left, right, kick, left, done. Hang on, left, right, left, right, kick, left, right, left, right, kick, left, then we're done. You have to wait a tiny bit longer. So that's the first half of the fill. Uh, the second half is pretty similar. We're going to start off with another snare, left, right, left, right, kick, but then we're going to go straight into another one of those little right, left, right, kick. So we're going to get this. And after that, we're going to put another bass drum and then another snare. So we're going to get this left, right, left, right, kick, right, left, right, kick, kick, snare. Left, right, left, right, kick, right, left, right, kick, kick, left. And if you want, you've got a bit more time, you can actually stick another crash on the end of beat four. So you get this. And then if you stick another one on the, the beat one of your groove, you're going to get... And that will lead you back in quite nicely. So if we do the same thing as we did with the first one, just get a little beat going. So you've got left, right, left, right, kick, right, left, right, kick, kick, left, right, left. When I said that right, left at the end, obviously because I'm hitting crashes, you want to hit a bass as well. A bit faster. Okay, so the main idea of this video is to take those two ideas, shove them together, and play them back to back. So you're gonna get. Second one. And we're back into our groove. So let's try that a bit quicker. There you go. We're not going to spend too much time on the theory today, so the best thing to do is just, you know, just go and download the sheet music from onlinedrummer.com and then just check it out and watch this video while reading it. It should help. <laughs> so let's try a bit faster. Aim faster. Oh, there it is. <laughs> cool. 
Cool, so when you got that down, uh, another thing that's worth trying, this feel sounds really cool if you're playing like a half-time groove. So say you've got like 16th notes going on this hi-hat, or if you're sort of playing a bit more of a sort of bonhomie sort of like... So now that we've got that down, what I'll do is I'll just play a couple of times. I'll play like a sort of, you know, standard time drum beat, then play each fill individually, then I'll double it up, then go into half time, and then double it up again, if you see what I mean. Well, you'll hear it, so here we go. Second one. together. Okay, so there it is. It's quite a nice little drum fill to uh, sink your teeth into. Like I said, you can just use it as single bar fills if you chop it in half. But if you want a bit of a challenge, stick them together, get the speed up, and have some fun with it. If you did like it, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. I've got the sheet music for this one, so I didn't really go into the theory too much. So go and download that for free at onlinedrummer.com. Um, and keep on drumming, I suppose. Yeah. Cool. Take care. I'll see you very soon. All right. Bye.